There's a chill in the air. Temperatures are creeping near freezing outside and inside our studios this morning. Thanks to Shintaro Akamoto from Akamoto Studio, who joins us with a preview of the Ice Festival taking place next weekend in Central Park. Thank you for being here, and thank you for bringing these beautiful sculptures. Oh, no, I'm glad. I'm glad to have this here. <laughs> well, before we talk about those, tell us, give us a sense of what people can expect at this Ice, ice Festival next week. Well, the Ice Festival is something we've been working together with Central Park Conservancy for, for several years now. And uh, this year we're doing a, a replica of the Alice in Winter Wonderland. Wow. Uh, every year, mm -hmm. year we're trying to bring in something from the park out and then kind of show how it's made from beginning to the end. Um, just kind of bringing our studio and production for people to really ju you know, uh, view and enjoy. Uh, and uh, I'll be on the stage with my colleague Thomas uh, where we'll be carving, uh, you know, the big Alice and the Mad Hatter and the rabbit. Uh, there'll also be another sculpture uh, right on the floor for people to enjoy. That's be I love mm -hmm. that statue in the park. Yes. One of my favorite places to be. We were showing close ups of the ones you brought. The rooster, of course, I love for the Lunar New Year. The year <laughs> yeah, the that's rooster, right. Yeah. Very, how long does it do to take to do something like this? Well, you know, it takes hours to kind of mm -hmm. plan for it, but it is ice and it's, it's, a, it's a melting material. So once we hit it, we got to hit it pretty hard. Um, you know, once we get really good at it and know what we're doing, we can finish something like this within an hour. Wow. Within an hour. Yeah. How did you get into this? I was, I was reading that you grew up in Alaska. <laughs> Which yeah. seems well, appropriate. I did. I did grow up in Alaska. Not, not all Alaskans play with ice, but I did. I got to give that no disclosure to for other people. Um, but uh, my father was an ice sculptor, so I, I you know, I grew up, um, you know, uh, working and playing with ice. And uh, you know, um, my, I went to college in East Coast, and and uh, when I was finishing my my master's in, in painting, uh, my background's in fine arts, and uh, my father and I just kind of started talking about what we can do, and that's how we started our studio in 2003. And and uh, we're based in uh, Astoria now. I love that you followed in your father's mm -hmm. footsteps. I mean, not too many people's dads are ice sculptors. You know? <laughs> <laughs> um, and we were talking about kind of where, who are the people who, who buy the sculpt? Sculptures. Well, I mean, we work with a wide range of clients. I mean, for, you know, from uh, I mean, we do our sculptures for fashion shows, film mm -hmm. premieres, product launches, you know, galas, weddings, mitzvahs. Mm -hmm. I mean, anything out there is possible. It's amazing what kind of phone calls we get every day. I can, we can imagine. And you use a range of tools. Give us yeah. a sense of how this actually works when you put it together. Well, yeah. I mean, no matter what we do, you know, something detailed as, a, as an animal, a rooster, or a, a logo, or a number, so whatnot. Everything's Starts with electric chainsaws for us. You know, how, no matter how small, no matter how big, I would say about 70% of the work is done all just with chainsaws. Amazing how much finesse we can get out of a tool like this. Uh, from there, we use hand tools uh, from like you can see like chisels uh -huh. and mm -hmm. hand saws, things like that, to really kind of refine down the details. Wow. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's. Are gonna, you going to show it? You're gonna, we're going to be your students, right? Well, yeah, here you go. <laughs> Me, you know, there, there are some of my, my favorite tools out okay. here. And, you know, mo mo most of the work is done here, but mm -hmm. I think the finishing touch you all can do. Okay. Pick and, oh, pick anything. You know, I think wow. the best thing is just just kind of pick at it, and okay. then just kind of get a sense of what these tools can do. So we just pick anywhere. Yeah, yeah. All right. Go ahead. You go ahead. Oh. Is this the right way you do it? Sure. Okay. Oh my goodness. I'm good at this. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's, it's amazing how responsive yeah, the tool is. You know, it really you can really kind of force it. So if you even if you're too handy, you can give a little more strength to it, and just kind of. <laughs> do I oh, get wow. to do the, um, this chainsaw? No. <laughs> <laughs> Next time. Oh, yes. It's loud. Yeah. It's a little loud, right? Oh, how, yeah. And how many people usually? Let me try. How many mm -hmm. people usually work on um, work on one sculpture? Usually one person. You know, one artist gets to oh. fo focus on. Them. You can see the tools are very dangerous, so yeah. we don't want our our, our chainsaws crisscrossing each other too yeah. closely. Um, but we do make you know large sculptures where we do have multiple carvers working it all at once. It really depends on the project we do. I just have to ask you for anyone who's watching this and says, I want to do that. Right. I mean, what advice do you have for them? You know, the advice is, is and with anything creative, mm -hmm. I mean, you know, it starts with drawings and it mm -hmm. starts with just really nurturing your curiosity to it. And so, so, so stick with it, you know. A lot of times it dis, it's discouraging. Right. And, you know, like the beginning process, the middle process, you just got to stick with it. And, and that kind of dedication really uh, can be rewarding often. Thank you so much for yes. being here. This is fascinating. We really appreciate it. We love your it. work. And next time I'm, I'm going with the chainsaw. Yes, please. The next time okay. this is our studio. In the commercial break, maybe. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank we you. really appreciate it. And the Ice Festival takes place next Saturday at the Banshell in Central Park. For more information, head to our website, cbsnewyork.com.